in the last two years under Biden, more than a ton of hard drugs has been seized by the feds at the border. A ton, more than a ton. And, you know, heroin and, and fentanyl and meth, they don't weigh that much. I mean, you've you got to stack it. And it's estimated that maybe the authorities stopped 20, 25 percent. So 75 percent of the drugs, the illegal drugs, get in. So wherever you are in America, there's no problem getting hard drugs. You can get them. There's guys selling them. No problem. In liberal states, the people who sell them don't get punished. Kill you, sell them poison. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. So this is the result of the open border. When you have the millions of people coming across, some of those people are carrying narcotics. This is the way it is. All right? So that's number one. Mexican violence is now coming to America. Not that we need more violence here, but listen to this. Homicide rate in Mexico, 25 per 100,000 residents. 25. You know what it is for the USA? Eight. So Mexico is three times as violent in the homicide area as the USA. And finally, Homeland Security investigators uh, tell us that the cartels who smuggle the migrants in, the people smugglers, are going to make more than $13 billion this year by smuggling people into the United States. All of this is on Joe Biden's resume. No one else responsible but him. Mayorkas is a puppet. Mayorkas does what he's told. But Biden, the Biden administration is telling Mayorkas what to do, which is nothing. Don't do anything. Just sit there. Them all come across with all the drugs. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.